Hey, um, can hear Sakura's bitch music on the background. In the background. <laughs> And having a great clicker on the screen. Okay, look, we have about 10 CC now. Let's see, but by the end of this video, how much can I earn? Just from, just from drops. <laughs> okay, 16. Hmm. Let's begin. It arrives quickly, and it's enough to brighten. Are you miss? Are you miss smooth? Yeah, what a nice little shack. Mogul's face is as bright as the sun itself. She's right though. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere of this shack is the same as it's always been empty. I'd love to visit it again, just to enjoy a nice snack while I listen to the sea. Well, it looks like you were right about this pretty shady. You're welcome. Anything with the two best friends. Hmm. Yeah. Friends. Friends. Hmm. We really have been friends for such a long time. Ever since we've known each other, it's just been us great. Hmm. Just like our friendship. One thing remains certain. Sage's an idiot. Do you really need to ask? <laughs> like you're a daydreaming idiot. <laughs> I knew it. Oh well, I'm happy with being an idiot then. A daydreaming one. Hey, Sagey. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you ever, you know. If I ever what? Have you ever had a crush on someone? A crush? Unfortunately, being a universe nerd, the closest thing to a crush I had is my obsession with the universe. Pretty nerd. Can't really think of anyone I've had a crush on before. Mm. Girl was on something on my mind, I guess. I know everyone in, in our class raves about the relationship and that, but does it really matter now? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's years and years left in our lives. Yeah. What does everyone insist that you have to jump into a relationship right now, huh? Isn't high school enough trouble without having to worry about girls too? Huh? <laughs> really? Not Anyone? Seiji? Come on, you can tell us if you had any feelings for anyone before, okay? Honestly, Momoko. My love for the universe cannot be measured. It's all I can see. I guess I've just never thought about girls before. Yeah? So I assume that you do not do the deed of Self pleasure. Self pleasuring. <laughs> yeah. Well, I see. Though so she keeps smiling, my blood nearly freezes from the tone of her voice. But then something to set her again? What the hell does this kid have to do? Well, let's say that, hypothetically speaking, you were interested in girls. Uh, why are we talking about this? Who oh, can I just curious, AGK? What kind of girl do you prefer? Hmm? Why are you asking me like this right now? Um, okay, what will be your answer? Hmm? going to be the universe, huh? <laughs> Someone who takes interest in his interest, thinking about the universe, we can daydream together, and somehow we can link to each other in this daydream, and have 
coffee have a date in the universe? <laughs> That's so stupid, you know? Hmm? Isn't that... Hmm? It's kind of romantic, though, but... Stop it! Well, technically, romantic stuff tends to be stupid, yeah. <laughs> Look, didn't I just tell them that I hadn't thought about girls, with girls before? Hmm? Judging by the expectant glint in your eyes, there's no way I'm going to get away with a telephone. Well, um, uh, I don't really know. Like I said, I get no fucks about girls. Um, someone, maybe someone nice? Good at cooking, I guess? And they all. Honestly, I don't really think it's a good idea to have a chat with some treats, huh? I don't know what I'm looking for when I meet the right person, okay? You know when you meet her, will you? Are you sure you haven't met her yet? Say she. I mean, surely you have made quite a few friends for her all the years, you know? Now that she mentions that, I I just realized that I don't really know that many people. I've always been friends with Ayumi and Momoko, but I can't really think of anyone else. Hmm. So, the girl of your choice is obviously a mix of Ayumi and Momoko. <laughs> Probably someone with Momoko's body and someone with Ayumi's personality. Yeah? Especially not any girls. The only reason I knew Ayumi and Moko is that they were both my neighbors. Well, some neighbors are pretty... Mm, how, do I, how do I say this? Some neighbors claim that it's not the friend type, you know? That isolates from other neighbors. So, technically, it's not the only reason that you two, you three are the universe. Mm, that's got to be, there's got to be something else that Kate brought you to. Such that you have two great friends, such as the Yulia Mongo. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not just because of the status of labor. Yeah? If you don't like their company, there's no way. There's no fucking way you're going to remain friends like this. Especially best friends. Mm -hmm. And even worse, not having any other groups of friends that you can hang out with. Other than your, the Yumi and Momoko, that explains a lot. So, you definitely have a thing or two for this too, just that you have not realized that you stupid universe nerd. Hmm, yeah, enough of that. Cool. Oh. For that, I think I know about it. No, you're a dancer, you're an idiot, and you think of the universe half of the time of your life. The other quarter of the time you spend sleeping, and then the, the other quarter you spend like, doing other, other, other stuff. That's your life, right, Seiji? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Hmm. Love will happen when it happens. Oh, are you sure you're not in love with this team? Hmm. Or any of the two? I think it's the kind of thing. You have out of nowhere, kind of like a meteor hitting the moon's surface. Hmm. Can I agree? Can I agree? I agree on that. But well, honestly speaking, I have never been madly in love with any girl before. That is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. Surely I have a crush on two, but it's mostly because of her looks. If I if I had to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, 
honestly speaking, I've never been love struck to any girl before. It's kind of sad though. Can you please not be thinking about space right now? Baka. Stay here on Earth with the rest of us. Okay, sorry. Can we please talk about something else? Sure. Would you like to get back in the water after this? We still have a few hours before the sun sets, so we should get the most up out of this day as we can. Hmm? Agree on that? Momoko saves the day again. Thank you, Momoko. What do you say, Ayumi? Oh, sounds fine. Ayumi is brooding now. Well... It's normal. Hmm. Known her for this long. How could I not be used to it? Ever be interested in girls, Seiji? Why do you keep asking about this? Why does my opinion about girls matter at all? I'm just curious, you know? I've known you for so long, and this is just some things we can't work out about you. So, you're just curious. That's why you want to know. Hmm? Yeah. Just curious. Anyway, it's getting late. There's somewhere that I want to show you to. Oh, what kind of place? Because it's excited at the idea. How do we know that it's not a trap? It's obvious that this pervert intends to do something with us too. No. <laughs> Have you ever seen the pillow Momoko throne? Cracks on the wall. Jeez. No. <laughs> For the sake of my pride, I will not be led astray by the likes of you. Huh? I don't right then. I guess only Momoko wants to come. I, I didn't say I didn't want to come. I just said that I wouldn't be misled by you. Hmm? I am sure that's the case, are you? Maybe you're jealous that we would get to spend time together. Oh. Uh. Alone. Goodness, imagine all the things that could. Amy slams on thumb into Momoko's cheek. Light. The light tap. <laughs> Don't throw such false accusations at me like that. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Sniffle escapes from Momoko. Seiji. It hurts. Is it better? Hmm? She turns her cheek towards me. C -c -c is it better? What that means? This thought seems to be incomprehensible to her. Um, I. Uh, another, s another sniffle escapes from her. a lot better. Looking at me with dewy eyes, a very strong feeling of guilt washes over me. Don't fall for a cro crocodile tears, you fool. She's trying to trick you. Yui grabs her by the face and stretches it one way and another. Ow, ow, ow. Yui, you're making it worse. This is your punishment for lying to it. Accept it, villain. Now he's going to give his whole face back. That's the only thing that will make me fat feel better now. Despite the Yumi's best efforts, Momoko manages to look at me with those dewy eyes again. Seiji, please help me. Is it all better? 
you are evil. Absolutely evil. Absolutely. The human quickly stops and pouts to herself. Obviously, just that Momoko can be so open to Seiji. Mm. To what Seiji? <laughs> so, are you two going or not? And Momoko immediately recovers without the kiss. I absolutely am. I can't wait. So they were crocodile tears. Mm. I guess I can come. I don't expect you to bestow such generosity on you in the future. Uh, go. And sure, Momoko is actually okay. <laughs> Are we really going to make her jealous? <laughs> Let's stand neutral, I guess. This is tough. Mm. But since I already knew it's crocodile to use. Uh, why is this so difficult? Let's ensure she's actually okay. I mean, she got slapped on the chicken. Her cheeks got stretched. Yeah. Not that I think about it, it's not much. <laughs> I really want to click this, but the, mm, uh, this. Seriously though, are you okay, Momoko? I'm fine, Seiji. Don't worry about me. Of course, she's fine. Hmm. Well, okay. Time to head off. God knows where. Probably somewhere to watch the night view. Uh, where could it be? Oh. Okay. All of my usual haunts around this place are, are still here. This little isolated cliff by the seaside, it always gave the best view of the sunset. It's one of my special places, yeah? I always wanted to share it with someone. Hmm? And what better person than to love interest slash best friend? Hmm? S. As I leave those two through the undergrowth, oh my god, I'm feeling a sneeze coming. Okay, somehow suppressed it. <laughs> Sorry for that. As I lead those two through the undergrowth, Amy complains the entire time. Where are we even going, you fool? There's too many bugs here, you could have at least told me to get a change. Come on, this is fun. <laughs> Look, I would really appreciate it. And if you could cover up yourself because bug bites on your body? Look, I don't. Mm, uh, it's not nice. Yeah, especially on areas you exposed yourself to. Like, there, there. You can't see my mouse cursor, can you? Um, I, I guess not. <laughs> Isn't this like when we explored the forest around our house when we were little? Listen, just because it was fun years ago doesn't mean it's fine. fun now. Come on, Ayumi. Let <laughs> loose a little bit. Okay. It's okay to be a bit immature now and then. For, for you, maybe, but I'm a proud, dignified woman. And I will change that for anything. Oh, that's not what you were telling me earlier. All that lovely to be talk about. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. 
I accidentally click out the window. Sorry. Stop. No. Don't, don't, don't say it. I forbid you to talk about that, okay? You've got to talk about it one day, you know? Then how about we talk about me? No need for that. Anyway, are we close, Seiji? Almost there. Pretty close. We emerge at the cliffside at just the right moment. The sun looms deep in the horizon, hitting the sky with fiery orange. Its form shimmers across the sea's surface, the dying light creating a spectacular show of color. So, why are we here? Just look out there and see for yourself. She seems to go wide-eyed at the view. It's a sight that always never seems to amaze me when I was young. Over you and Momo consent to go silent as they take in the view. Well, this is a beautiful view, Seiji. I'm glad you like it. This is just one of the many places that, that I'd like to show you while we are here. I used to just sit here around and watch the stars slowly appear in the sky. Whenever I was here, I just forget things. Yeah, drifts off into space and think about stars, universe stuff. So I want to, to share with you both. Neither of them say anything in response. They seem to get lost in the moment too. Probably drifted into space too. <laughs> Even the Yumi doesn't have anything to say. We just sit there, enjoying the view. Seiji, it really is beautiful here. The fool you may be, but you do know some good places. Our younger me used to go exploring all the time, yeah? That's how I found this place. Maybe there's more places like this out here. We should go look. We should go looking another day. Just like we used to when we were younger. Remember when we found that waterfall? She seems to grow nostalgic as she looks out at the shifting ocean before. I haven't forgotten any of it. It's funny how long we've been all together, isn't it? It's not something I really think about, but you're right. Just notice as the years pass. Now, here we are. And kind of, kind of in a predicament. If Seiji realizes that he loves any of the two, this friendship. It may not last. That's the uh, that's pretty typical plot. But it seems that it might happen if I choose any of the two. Though it would be better if we be friends than be great at yeah. <laughs> Even the Yumi begins to smile. That's just some kind of magic in this moment. As silly as you are, we've all never stopped having fun together. I hope that we can do this forever. Forever, huh? That actually sounds pretty nice to me. As we wait, the stars begin to emerge from their hiding places. The orange of the sky gives way to a dark shade of the moon looms in the distance, slowly rising above the ocean. As Momoko looks up to the stars, something seems to appear to her. Seiji, there's something that we'd like to know. Why do you like, like space so much? We haven't ever really talked about it, because it's just daydreaming time. Yeah. 
don't you ever like sleep talk or something? Dream talk? Stuff like that? I don't really know why I'm so obsessed with space. Something about the idea of being part of something far bigger than myself. It's hard to put in words. For all of the petty problems on Earth, there's an entire universe out there which couldn't care less. <laughs> True. It doesn't care about pollution, war, famine, bitches, stupid politicians, stuff like that. Even when the last of us are gone, it was still there. Eternal, unchanging. Different. It really puts things into perspective for me. Not that I'm saying that I don't matter. Everything I do today could have far reaching consequences tomorrow. I might be the person who causes a chain of events which could probably lead to the salvation of humanity. Or something like that. You're thinking way too much. Though, the Sakura plot is has always been like, been like this. <laughs> the future cannot be predicted. I just think that everyone has their part to play in the grand mechanism of the universe. Each of our actions will cause something to happen, no matter how grand or petty the results may be. It's easy to get cynical about what consequences your choice have when pondering the universe. Maybe a grain, mere grain of sand in comparison to the universe, perhaps in the last and that. True. But this. But that does not mean that I do what I do. There's no meaning. Everything we do has meaning. Even the tiniest decision we make in life can have far reaching consequences. I imagine that Einstein's ancestor had no idea that. Their decision will lead to the discovery of relativity. Okay, you're drifting off again. Shh, come back to Earth, Mr. Seiji. I'd better answer the question quickly. I guess I just see space as a big adventure. You know? Filled with mysteries. Things. There's a planet made out of diamond out there. Imagine what other kinds of treasure you could find. Such as. There's a planet made of diamonds. Maybe there's one made out of gold out there. Maybe one made out of platinum. Maybe one made out of adamantium. Though, I think adamantium is. Fictional, right? I recall. It's it does not really exist in the universe. It's some sort of made up strong metal which is made out of which is supposed to be really strong or something like that. You see, that's why I love space. It could literally be anything out there in the world. You don't have to look outside Earth to find treasure, you know. Look at Momoko, that asset. <laughs> Look at you mean, that figure, that style. You call that treasure? Yeah, I call that treasure. <laughs> it sounds like a childish fantasy, like you just want to run out there pointing a laser gun at aliens, pretending you're playing a survival game. It sounds like fun. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Baka. That's a bit harsh, anyway. Anyway, sounds like heaps of fun. What to team up with that? Adventures across the galaxy, Seiji. Sounds great to me. Hmm. Go after space adventures or whatever. Prefer sophisticated entertainment for adults. Uh, such as I can't imagine what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Oh shit! No! It lagged and then. Okay, there. Uh, 
What about that one show you always watch in the morning? Where? Amy quickly shoots her arm out and covers Marco's mouth. Oh, are you talking about early morning animes? Because you know what's on air in the early mornings? What anime is on air? Things like Sailor Moon, things like One Piece, yeah? Just kind of kiddy, mu much kiddish stuff. Kiddish stuff? Hmm. Don't you dare say it. Tell Kitty something like that, right? <laughs> Always try to be so mature. Ah, you're so cute. Almost as adorable as Sage. <laughs> you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to brace him? Huh? Is that what you want? Almost. To call me adorable? You, you are adorable. Come on. You look cute. All I can do is shrug at the moment. Nonsense is happening in front of me. It's getting a little late here too. We should probably head back now before it turns completely dark at the, the box. Ho ho ho. In the night sky. Shit. Sure, can we come back here sometime? I want to watch the sunset with you again. Well, I couldn't mind going here again. Coming here again. You don't go here. You come here. You are at the location, so you say come here. Okay. <laughs> Translation. Please. Coming here. Again. With you. Glad to hear it. We make our way back through the trial. Until it's too bigger the entire way. Alright, it's time to end the episode and why don't we take a look at Clicker, where is it? Here? Is it here? There! 300cc, holy fuck. Oh my god. So about 30 minutes I'm earning a I'm earning 10 cc every 10 minutes. That's one cc per minute. <laughs> and if I were more active, like constantly clicking on this, clicking, opening the treasure boxes, I would have had already like maybe close to one dB possible possible. So if anyone is playing as a career clicker, remember it's always better to do one hit KOs than go gung ho and click all the way. <laughs> if you want to advance far, doing this is much more efficient. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's time to end this episode. Um, bye. <laughs>